Hey, Mike Mata here. We're going to edit a dashboard and some widgets that we created before and continue down the baseline process. So here we, we built our application dashboard and we can see we've got data in there. Our top IP senders, top receivers, and traffic volume by time. So now what we're going to do is take this dashboard and copy it and copy some widgets but change the properties of those widgets to create a baseline. So how we do that is first off go into libraries, dashboard library. We find our application dashboard and again it has what we created the other day. So we're going to take that and copy this and this time we're going to call this application baseline. All right, and there's our application baseline. So you notice it popped it over there. We have our application baseline. If we click on that, it says here are the widgets. We're going to do a couple of things here. We're going to add a new widget, but again, by copying one that we already have. So to do that, we're going to go into our widget library, and we're going to go to user widgets. We have the one there that we created, uh, servers by traffic packets, and I called mine one. So I'm going to click that, and I'm going to copy that. And this time I'm going to name that dash baseline. And we're going to change the properties of this widget. Click OK. We have our new servers by traffic packets baseline that's the one we want now and this time we're going to change it to be by time and we want to choose threshold which gives us the baseline over time and again we're going to go ahead and keep you know the same properties as far as the data fields the application and IP address of the server and the total packets since that's what we want to track the baseline over time. Click next to that and finish and then basically accept. And we're going to go into our widget again. Sorry, our dashboard library. We're going to choose application baseline. We're going to add a row. And this time we're going to add a single row. And that should have put that at the bottom. And there that is. We're going to go to our widgets and we're going to go to our user widgets we're gonna find the one that we just created and that was servers by traffic packets baseline we're gonna drag that widget there and we've just added now a baseline graph to our application dashboard but we've also basically created a whole new dashboard that way we click accept so this keeps us from having to reinvent the wheel when we want to add new features or uh, come up with a different dashboard that has some of the things that we've already used. So now I can go back to my dashboards. I have now application baseline. And again, it gives us the information that we had previously. But what we're looking for now is the bottom. We've just added this baseline. And so here we can see over time I have the servers by traffic and then packets and I can see the different uh, baseline there is in green and then the packets total is in blue so I hope that gives you a little bit more insight into how to create a baseline application now again this baseline is is we're only looking at a pretty short period of time the last hour obviously the more data that we have that we can plot well let's see if I have a week's worth and we'll click it looks like it's working working and I don't exactly have a week's worth but this would give us from January 25th through January 31st so some of the data, I obviously don't have an entire week's worth of data for everything. But this would give you, you know, what does the baseline of your network look like for a week or a month? Or once again, how much data do you have that you can plot against? So I hope that was informational. 
check back for a new video. Thanks.